Always tracking, always alerting. Here's your StormTrack 15 weather. Welcome back. It's 516. It looks like uh, the hot weather is here and it's sticking around for a while. Yeah, I'm definitely heated up, that's for sure. <laughs> Adam, what's going on today outside? Yeah, you know, we have a lot of heat going on across the area and unfortunately, we're not going to see a lot of heat relief. All those showers mm -hmm. and storms that usually pop up in the afternoons to provide us some cooling effects, not going to be around today. It is going to be hot and dry tomorrow. Looking for more heat. You see a trend here in the forecast. By the weekend, at least part of the weekend, we see a few storms, but not a whole lot out there to help us out. I-10 at Ambassador, we have clouds in the sky off in the distance, but these are not rain producing clouds. These are high level clouds and they're going to be kind of hit and miss through the day today, allowing us to see some sunnier breaks and then it gets clouded over, but no rain really going to be falling from these clouds as high pressure builds on in. 73 degrees in Ville Platte, reporting fog in Ville Platte right now. 76 in Lafayette and in Abbeville, 75 in New Iberia. We see that mugginess really just hanging in place through the day today. 9 o'clock this morning, 84, sunny clouds mixing. Midday, 88 degrees, more sun and clouds. By 3 p.m., I'm going 90 degrees. You know, we hit 90 for the first time yesterday in Lafayette. Took us long enough, but I think today we'll be right back there. Tonight, we are seeing those temperatures dropping down into the mid 70s yet again. More humid air sticking around those clouds building on in at times tomorrow 90 degrees. So this is basically the definition of a summer pattern setting up 90 with no big changes that summer heat. Yes, yeah, storm is possible, but we're not talking about a whole lot out there until we get to Sunday afternoon. That's where we see some scattered storms developing as a front slides just to our east. This will be just enough to get one or two storms, but a lot of these storms won't come until later on in the day. And so with that, you look at the seven day forecast and all the way through next week, we're going to be at 90 degrees or above the next three days. No rain chances. Then finally, the rain chances come back Sunday and into next week. But yeah, very hot, very humid in the forecast. It looks like that trend is continuing for the foreseeable future. After all, we are in summer. But hey, you know, finally, we did hit that magic number of 90 degrees. So I guess it's a celebration. Yeah. No. Uh, felt all of that 90 degrees yesterday. It Let's really just put did. It, it was like just very, yeah. very warm. I keep, of it. I keep my uh, my my townhouse pri quite uh, chilly, and, and, I, and I put on sweatpants, and I walked outside, and I was like, whoa, whoa, <laughs> mistake. Bad decision. Yeah. Bad life choice. All right. Well, we'll be checking back with you throughout the morning. Adam, thanks very much. Moving on.